We're talking about vans. We're talking about a group of guys in India. And we're talking about some other stuff. Guess what? Roll the intro. I look pretty cool when I don't have glasses on. But guess what? I'm blind. I can't see without them. So in this video, we're going to cover essentially reptile drama by if you're guessing by the title. But a lot of these things I wouldn't say is drama just because, well, you know, they're they're a little messed up. They're not just he said, he said. These are events involving animals in very poor conditions and some monstrosities that were committed against animals. So it, before I talk about it, I will be putting little warnings up. I must say it. So, you know, if you want to click off or skip that part of the video, you can. This and that, all that. All right. So run it. We're gonna talk about the least messed up one. Got my phone here so I can see it in my head and I just remember it. So as you see on the screen right there, you have a Vans et Colt Diamondback Collection, a BMX Classic featuring custom rattlesnake. Now what is this? It's pretty much a shoe, a very mid shoe in my opinion. I skate, I like when Vans makes their shoes more hinted towards the skaters essentially. And slip-ons, pretty fire. But I'm gonna fur those away now. We're not a fan of what's going on today. But, you know, we go here and, well, there's a bald python. Now, the name's probably a buzz. I'm recording this. I have no idea what morph that is. My guess is it's a spider or something. Yeah, I'm gonna ask my bald python nerds, see what they know. Thank y'all to the bald python nerds and whoever told me, I will be probably putting the at right there. As you see, this snake is very malnourished doesn't know what food is, looks skinny how I am fat. If you look over at this animal, it makes you ask some questions. First off, who? Who brought this animal and said, hey, my snake's cool, y'all, let's use it for marketing. Who was the guy who looked at this animal and then said, yo, this animal looks good for our marketing. Brother, I'm looking at the ribs a whole inch away from the rest of the body. Brother, how often do you see ribs on a snake? Wild. You know, because if I grab some random shoes, right? Random shoes. And malnourished dog. Anyone and their mama can tell me that that's wrong and there's something wrong with that animal. Short story of this first. I'm not a fan when bigger companies use animals for marketing. Uh, mainly when they do it poorly and there's very little um, sign of the animal actually is t properly taken care of the first place. Because you're like, oh... Well, they didn't take care of the animal. Well, they paid the guy to come out with the animal or the girl, who knows? And quite frankly, guess what? They paid them, they made them feel nice, and they're gonna be like, yeah, I did it! Guess what? They're gonna go out and do it again, and you're gonna see the animal in more marketing, and the animal's not in good conditions. That's something you shouldn't support. But let's go move to the next part of this. Y'all are about to find out why my grades in school were so bad that they let me graduate early. They did graduate early. At a poor reading level too, fun fact. But guess what, we're gonna read the day. It's right there too, so you don't have to just listen. Pretty much, I'm gonna try to do this fast. We appreciate your concerns. We created the content, my phone's broken, so it's hard to read some of these words. The content and release it through vans, everything has been removed from all social channels, right? Which it has, as of stating now, um, you can only find these pictures on Google from other people who have shared it and other content creators and a lot on Reddit. So they did do that. Pro good job on them, I'll give them that. You know, they were dumb the entire time of setting up, taking pictures and all that, but at least they were smart enough to be like, hey, let's take it down. Good, good on them, I'll give them that, right? Now, the they go on and say the snake belongs to our employees. Now there's only one snake that is known about that was being used for marketing. And there, and what, is it a couple who owns the snake? Very odd verbiage and wording they're using here today. Probably a bot, to be honest with you. And we can assure you that they are well taken care of. Does it look well taken care of to you? A uh, fed and hydrated. And if you look, the fed is only F-E, D and not two E's, dot, 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 after hydrated. Jute lasted no more than 10 minutes right 
which okay cool you know do your photo shoots just do it when the animal is actually in good conditions and we try to put the least amount of stress on the snakes dot 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 again there's only one snake very bodish response we now see how bad this looks and removed all snakes from marketing which they have so they admitted in this post two times already that they've deleted the post and they've also said that this is a well taken care of animal we ensure that they're well taken care of right very bodice response but the fun thing is about this they backtrack completely when they go to the next part of the email we are sorry and regretful for what this campaign has cost so they are showing they're sorry and yeah, good for them. We will reach out if the, na if the snakes are in need of a better home. We appreciate your concerns for the well-being of the snakes. So, what does that tell you? Now, that tells you that, well, Van screwed up. Because at the end of the day, if no one said anything to them, the snake would probably still be up on their marketing team. Whoever brought the snake would have been like, yeah, getting that bonus. Because it said it was one of their employees. They helped out their company. But, you know... Guess what? Because people spoke up about it, they took it down. So this is, in my opinion, a win. So, yeah. Tell me what you think. Me, personally, I'm probably not going to wear my Vans. Might throw them away, because it's made in. At the end of the day, they're still the company that had a malnourished animal. Uh, brought it to a photo shoot. The owner brought it there. The other members of staff all were there. The members of staff who made the idea got the guy's snake pictures or saw the snake or knew the guy with the snake had no issues with all this until there was a public outlash. So, yeah, be what it be, that's the only reason this post is truly down. I think I'm supposed to say allegedly, so allegedly. Yeah, move to the actual next part. Well, if you liked that video, first off, you should sub, like, leave a comment, share it to your buddies. You know, a thousand likes and whatever Mr. Beast says when he gets a thousand likes. I, I, I have no idea. Yeah. But, you know, guess what? If you also like this content, let me know by saying something in the comments, DMing me, etc. Because, well, if you haven't caught the drift, you know, I'm planning on doing some content similar to this down the road. Not always corporate bullshit, you know, just covering events that aren't exactly as, you know, squeaky clean if you're catching my drift. So, if you like it, let me know. It gives me more motivation to make videos like this. Because, believe it or not, I like to make more than just, you know, basic reptile YouTuber stuff. Yeah. Well, uh, end of the video.